Hey everyone, I'm looking at this little project called Echo Index Audit. It's a tool that allows you to check if a site is coded according to the good ecological principles. For example, a website should not download too much because downloading bytes over a network makes computers work electricity, which affects the environment. So you can say, okay, this is the minimum echo index and the tool will report if it's below that and fail. Now you can run this tool inside Cypress. And the way this particular implementation does it is really, really weird. It imports Cypress wait until plugin and then inside your test, you run the task where you give a URL and you call the task, but then you have this callback where you assign a variable and when you wait until this variable is above a threshold. So if it's below, then it will fail. Very weird. Why don't we take a look at how it actually works? I'm going to open Cypress and I'm going to look at the test right here. This is an example test. I'm going to move Cypress over here. I'm going to start testing. I'm going to click on the to do spec and okay, loads the French version of Google and uh, says wait until okay, seems like it passed, right? But that's passing. And if, for example, we increase the threshold to 90, let's look at the test and wait until until and it's false and then it breaks. Okay, so really weird way of checking a response from site task to make sure that the property echo index is above a certain threshold. Now, the one thing about Cypress is the command log gives you everything you need to debug the fail test. So in this case, it's called the task and it passes the Google France URL. So why don't we take a look at what the task yields? What's the result of a task? The task runs something under the hood, like a puppeteer to analyze the website. So this is what the task, site task yields. It yields an object that contains different parameters of that URL analyzed from the perspective of ecology. So you can see the grade A, echo index 79, and so on and so on. Well, if I understand correctly, we're trying to check that if that property echo index right here, 79, is above a threshold of 90, 50, whatever you want. Okay, well, if you yield an object and you want to get its property, you can say echo index, the property name. Psi eats from the object grabs the property. And now you can just check it. Should be, let's say, above threshold. So let's see how it runs right now. We don't need this intermediate variable. Okay. So now it says expected 80 to be above 90. That's pretty clear. And it time, times out. Now, once the task yields an object, the object is not going to change. But property echo index will stay the same. So we don't have to retry it. We can say timeout of zero. Immediately fail, right? If echo index is below the threshold, then it should fail. And if it's above 50, then it should immediately succeed and we are done. So this is a very straightforward way of you checking the website to make sure that from ecological uh, climate viewpoint, it's not wasteful.